So we have a, a Unimog vehicle with a loader crane mounted on the back. And onto the end of the crane, we've got all this equipment, which is the sensing equipment that goes into the water. So we have a pan and tilt device, which will allow us to position the equipment correctly. We have the sonar device, which the rotating transducer head is on the end. This gives us an underwater image of the bridge structure itself and also the scour, if there's any scour present at the foot of, at foot of the bridge. We then have a, an underwater camera, which has a ring of LEDs around it and an LDR sensor, a light dependent resistor. And that will light up the, the water around it if it's all murky and horrible. So we should get some underwater imagery. And this works above water as well. So we can look at the bridge structure on the way down and as we're, we're looking around. And on the other side, which I'm not sure you can quite see, we've got an altimeter, which is a depth sensor, which tells us how deep the water is that we're in. So if we're ever not sure whether we've got enough water, we can just dip it in and, and see whether it's okay. So the equipment at the back of the vehicle will show us with the sonar, we will get a 2D image showing the different uh, features of the bridge and any scour that's present there. We will see shadows where there are holes um, and light areas where there are solid interfaces. So we should be able to identify quite a lot of um, different elements from that. The camera itself, um, as I said, it had the ring of LEDs on it, so we should get a good underwater shot there of any of the bridge structure that we can see. So if there's an element that we're not sure about, we can look at it with the camera a bit closer um, and we can rotate the sonar and get a different view of it in that respect um, and build up a, a good picture of what's going on there.